Hey everyone, welcome back to Digital Delegator, where we break down powerful AI tools that help you build faster, smarter, and more scalable systems. Today is a big one. Minimax.io is a complete AI ecosystem built for creators, developers, and businesses. The platform is organized into clear sections, research, product, API, news, and company, making it easy to understand both the technology behind Minimax and how to use it in real workflows. The research section highlights the core models powering the platform, such as Minimax M2.1 for advanced reasoning and coding, and HiLo 2.3 for high quality video generation. These models form the foundation that makes Minimax fast, accurate, and scalable. The product section focuses on practical tools, including Minimax Agent for automation, Hilo AI Video for text-to-video creation, and Minimax Audio for realistic voiceovers and sound design. Together, these tools allow users to create video, audio, and automated workflows within one system. For developers, the API section provides access to Minimax's latest models, detailed documentation, and flexible subscription plans, making it easy to build custom applications and integrations. The What's New section highlights the newest feature upgrades and model releases, including improvements to coding performance, video generation, audio realism, and agent capabilities, so users can quickly see what's been enhanced across the platform. Meanwhile, the company section offers insight into Minimax's mission, vision, and the team behind the technology. Let's go back to Minimax Developer Guides. The Developer Guides section on Minimax's platform is designed to help developers, builders, and advanced creators quickly understand how to use Minimax's AI models in real applications. Think of it as a step-by-step -step playbook that walks you from first login all the way to deploying AI-powered tools using Minimax models. At the top, you'll see organized navigation for API reference, pricing, coding plans, solutions, release notes, FAQs, and the developer program. This structure makes it easy to move between learning how the models work, understanding costs, and staying updated on new features. Getting started from zero to API access. The quick start section breaks everything down into simple steps. Register or log in, you create a Minimax account to access the API platform. Create an API key. This key securely connects your app or tool to Minimax's models. It's generated once and must be stored safely. Recharge your account. If needed, you add credits to start using the models. Usage. This is where you actually start calling the AI models and building things. This setup ensures even new developers can get started without confusion. Using Minimax M 2.1 Core LLM Model. The Minimax M 2.1 section focuses on their flagship large language model. This model is built for advanced reasoning, coding, and agent style workflows. You'll find guides for text generation, creating responses, explanations, summaries, and reasoning heavy outputs. Tool use and interleaved thinking, allowing the model to combine reasoning with actions, which is ideal for automation and agent systems. AI coding tools, using M2.1 directly inside supported coding assistance. Building AI agents, best practices for creating multi-step AI workflows that can plan, reason, and execute tasks. This makes M2.1 especially useful for developers building AI copilots, automation tools, or intelligent agents. Using Hiluo 2.3, video generation. The Hiluo 2.3 guides focus on video creation through the API. Text to video, generate cinematic video scenes directly from prompts. Image to video, animate still images into moving video content. This section is ideal for developers building AI video platforms, content tools, or creative apps that need programmatic video generation. Using Speech 2.6, Audio and Voice. The Speech 2.6 section explains how to generate realistic audio. Synchronous TTS, WebSocket, Real-Time Voice Generation, Async Long-Form TTS, Longer Narrations like Audiobooks or Videos, Voice Cloning, Create custom voices for consistent branding or characters. This is perfect for voice assistants, narration tools, and AI-powered media apps. Using Music 2.0. Here, developers can generate music using AI. Music creation guides, API usage, highlights, and showcase examples. 
This allows developers to build music generation features directly into their applications. Use guides by media type. Minimax also organizes guides by text, speech, video, image, and music, making it easy to focus on one media type without jumping across sections. This is helpful if you're building a specific feature, like only video or only audio. Why this developer section is powerful. What makes the Minimax developer guide stand out is that they're not just documentation, they're practical workflows. You're shown how to connect to the models, how to use them in real tools, how to scale from experiments to production, how to integrate AI into apps, agents, and automation systems. Whether you're building a coding assistant, AI video platform, voice app, or automation agent, the developer guides give you everything you need to start and scale. Let's proceed, I'm inside Minimax Agent. On the left side, you'll see options like New Task, Search, Gallery, and Task History. This is where you manage everything you create or run inside Minimax. In the center, this is where you give Minimax your task. This is where you can ask Minimax to do anything, coding, research, website creation, video ideas, or automation tasks. Below that, you'll see different task modes like schedules, websites, research, and videos. These help guide the model depending on what you're trying to create, but you can also just run everything from a single prompt. Let's jump into the prompt. Let's try this. Make me a Lego style pagoda garden scene. I wanna be able to rotate the view, zoom in and out, and see the build from all sides. More details. Traditional pagoda with layered roofs. Garden paths, trees, and water. Lego minifig scale, clean, colorful Lego brick style. Explain how to view or render it digitally. Then click run. Here's the result. And honestly, the Lego Pagoda garden scene looks amazing. The level of detail, lighting, and depth really stands out, and it feels more like an interactive environment than a static render. What's great is that you're not locked into a single camera angle. To view the entire scene, you can simply open it in a new tab and explore it freely. You have full control over the view. Left click and drag to rotate around the scene. Right click and drag to pan the camera. Scroll to zoom in and out. Double click to focus on a specific point. This makes the scene feel immersive and interactive, almost like navigating a 3D environment or a game world. It's a great example of how Minimax can generate not just visuals, but experiences you can actually explore. Let's try another one. Make me a Super Mario inspired world with a pagoda themed level. I want to rotate the view, zoom in and out, and explore the map. More details. Asian inspired Mario environment. Enemies, coins, and platforms. Bright cartoon style. Smooth camera movement. Level layout explanation. Then click Run. After just a few minutes, here's the result. And this is where things really get impressive. You'll notice a map legend that clearly breaks everything down, making the environment easy to understand at a glance. It highlights key elements like pagodas as landmarks, cherry blossom trees, bamboo clusters, and wooden bridges, which help define the world and guide movement. You can also see platforms that act as jump pads, enemies you need to avoid, and even stone lanterns that add atmosphere and realism to the scene. What really stands out is the level of interactivity. You can actually click and collect the coins, which makes the experience feel more like a playable game rather than just a static video. Combined with the visible controls and clear navigation, it feels polished, responsive, and intentional, almost like a fully designed minigame. That's what makes this result so amazing. It doesn't just look good, it feels interactive, immersive, and thoughtfully built in just minutes.
So what you're looking at right now is the Minimax Agent Gallery. This is basically a library of ready-made AI projects created by other users. Think of it like templates you can copy, remix, and customize for your own work. Websites, research, dashboards, videos, and more. At the top, you'll see different categories. Recommend, curated and popular projects. Code, projects focused on building apps or tools. Research, AI research, summaries, reports. PPT, presentation generators. Multimodal, projects using text, images, or videos. Others, experimental or mixed projects. If you're new, I recommend starting with recommend or code. Each box here is one full AI project. You'll see the project title, the creator's name, and the number of remixes, which tells you how many people reused it. If a project has a lot of remixes, that usually means it works really well. Let's view this details at clonethenetflix.com website, include actual videos using publicly available. After a few seconds, the workflow will play back. Now let's view the production live. This workflow is honestly amazing, and what makes it even more interesting is what happens after you complete it. Let's try another in the recommend section. I want to explore the Black Ops research hack the world concept and then remix it into my own creative version, and I want to add the request create a fictional Black Ops style hack the world research simulation. Use a futuristic global dashboard concept showing simulated cyber threats, network activity, and alert zones. Present it as an intelligence briefing with a dark cinematic UI. This is for visual storytelling and educational demo purposes only. And here's the result, this remixed Black Ops style research workflow. It doesn't actually hack anything, it simulates how global cyber intelligence dashboards might look and feel. The goal here is storytelling, visualization, and concept design. This is an excellent cinematic cyber intelligence dashboard concept. It clearly communicates global cyber command, real-time monitoring, and high-stakes operations without needing any explanation. Let's try another one. Let's try this. Remix this, go to the place you want experience, and add the following request. Create an immersive travel experience that lets me virtually go to Japan or South Korea. Include iconic landmarks, city streets, local food scenes, cultural elements, and ambient sounds. The experience should feel cinematic, modern, and relaxing, like a seamless virtual journey through the country. Then click Generate. And here's the immersive virtual travel result for Japan and Korea. Let's explore it. City awakens. City awakens. Ambiences and sounds we crazy grassy. Water flows gently. Ambiences and sounds we crazy 
secrecy. Water flows gently, clean, crazy, crescent. He's just city awakens. City awakens. If this video opened your eyes to what AI agents can truly accomplish, check the description below for all the details. Subscribe to Digital Delegator and hit like to stay updated on real world AI workflows, automation strategies, and systems you can actually implement. Comment below to let me know which remix impressed you the most. If you want the exact prompts and remixes I used, you'll find the links in the description. Let's automate, delegate, and earn passively, together.